He is a doctor who says he has a duty to tell this story, a story of torture he's been living with for two years. Dr. Sharam Azam has risked much to flee Iran and tell what he saw that night as an emergency room doctor in Tehran. Through a translator, he begins his recollections of the patient he examined on June 26, 2003. They told me that this uh, woman is a journalist who has been arrested about five or six days before. The woman was 54-year-old Canadian freelance photographer Zara Kazemi. She was born in Iran and was arrested while taking pictures of a demonstration outside Tehran's Evan prison. She was imprisoned and four days later was admitted to the hospital on a stretcher, unconscious. That's when Dr. Azam first saw her, first examined her injuries. In the forehead on the right side, uh, there was a big bruise. He went on at length to list her head-to-toe injuries. A broken nose, bruised forehead, internal bleeding of the brain, ruptured eardrum, broken ribs, broken fingers, missing fingernails, smashed toes, the bottom of the feet bruised and swollen, and evidence of rape. All injuries that could only lead the doctor to come to one conclusion. I could see that this has been caused by torture. Kazemi's son sat listening to the details. I'm continuing what my mother has, has started when she stood up to the Iranian regime. Foreign Affairs Minister Pierre Pettigrew says the doctor's account is gruesome, but doesn't tell the Canadian government anything it didn't already know. We know this was a murder, not an accident. Pierre Pettigrew admits that everything he's tried so far hasn't worked. He says he will continue to push for a fair and open trial. Some critics are asking for sanctions, but Pettigrew says those would be ineffective unless the international community mobilized against Iran. Julie Van Dusen, CBC News.